organizations are transforming the future of healthcare by being AI ready and unlocking the potential of science and technology for the benefit of people, society and planet. Let's talk about how organizations are staying competitive through AI adoption. According to the recent Gartner AI survey, on an average, only 48% of AI proof of concepts make it into production. Organizations face various challenges in transitioning to and adopting AI at scale. There are numerous potential AI use cases in clinical trials, starting from steady setup to conduct phase. For example, AI-assisted NLP solutions to identify the discrepancies in trial data using ML algorithms and the recent use of generative AI leveraging chat GPT solutions. In predictive analytics, there are many industry specific use cases in this space. Can we directly use the publicly available open source pre-trained ML models and use of AI tools right away? The short and quick answer is no because we need to factor in various parameters such as the platform being used, whether the tool has any security vulnerabilities, risk assessment, and other key assessments related to model development and deployment. The World Health Organization WHO highlights ethical use and governance as primary concerns of AI use in healthcare. The guidance documents are released by WHO which are based on the expert group inputs. I recall a recent discussion with some of my AI developers who wanted to use the open source solutions based on pre-trained large language models, which we call it as LLMs. Unfortunately, we could not use this solution unless the solution was reviewed and approved by the AI governance team within the organization. This process could be time consuming However, we have to go through it given the highly regulated industry we are in. Challenges and considerations related to data privacy and security should be factored in while using the AI application. We need to acknowledge the challenge of bias in developing the AI models using ML algorithms and ensure fairness and equity in AI solutions. Additionally, we need to consider the regulatory compliance and we have to make sure that the organization follows the ethics and there are various legal laws which needs to be abided by the organization across the globe. There should be collaborative efforts between the technology companies, healthcare providers, and pharmaceutical companies. For instance, I remember I worked for a predictive analytics projects work in collaboration with the technology industry in predicting the adverse drug reaction using intelligent machine learning. This experience gave me a deep understanding of how AI is addressing some of the complex business problems. Regarding mindful living, organization that implement mindfulness training for its employees observed that there is a subsequent increase in productivity, reduced stress levels, and improved workplace satisfaction. Digital AI tools like Viva Insights, Healthy Mind app on Microsoft Teams, and other AI-powered health assistants and chatbots are helping the employees for their mental well-being and workplace. These digital AI tools help employees to boost their engagement, collaboration, and productivity. I would like to conclude with the message that it is important for everyone working on AI projects to consider the ethical implications of AI and to collaborate on responsible AI initiatives. We should be proud that India is taking a lead in responsible AI as a lead chair in global partnership of artificial intelligence platform. By promoting accountability, fairness, and transparency, we need to make sure that AI technologies are developed and deployed ethically 
benefiting everyone in this world. Let's join hands to participate in shaping the future of healthcare through AI. Thank you.